French filmmakers have come to this colonial era hospital in the village of Menzel Bourguiba to document the years that Martinican psychiatrist and philosopher Franz Fanon spent in Tunisia. Action. It's the first major filmed biopic about the late anti racist and anti colonial campaigner. I was fascinated by him and his thinking, he as a man and his ideas through his practice of psychology. This is where I think he was very innovative. He's someone who turned psychiatry upside down and I had to explore his life as a man as well as an important figure of the 20th century. In the 1950s, Franz Fanon left his mark on psychiatry with his humanism and his reluctance to use drug treatments. He also developed the radical concept of ethnopsychiatry or the examination of the cultural context of a disorder. He used the ideas to define the consequences of colonization on his patients. Alexandre Bouillet placed Fanon on the screen. The production introduced him to the thinker's work. I realized that I didn't know this man and his story. And as I learned more, I didn't want people to feel the way I did before. I want everyone to know about him, both the generations that passed and the generations to come. Few in Tunisia remember Fanon. He practiced psychiatry at several hospitals there, but was also seen as an outsider by intellectuals of the time. Reviving Franz Fanon in political Tunisian thought and practice will restore depth to our history. It will bring an African depth. Another character in his story was Fanon's wife, Josie, also an anti-colonial activist. In fact, we have a lot of articles because she was a journalist, so we read her articles. But it's true that we have almost no photos. We found two pictures of her and a radio interview. Josie Fanon lost her husband to leukemia when he was just 36. He left behind a colossal scholarly legacy on the complexities of the impact of colonialism that still shapes academic discourse today. The film about his life is set to debut in cinemas in 2024.